In a time when women were expected to stay at home, Merit Patar defied all odds. Born in ancient Egypt over 4,000 years ago, she had a mind as sharp as a surgeon's blade and a heart filled with compassion. As a child, she watched her father, a respected physician, heal the sick. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create these types of whiteboard animations in Canva. Now, if you're a new YouTuber, we are having a monetization challenge. So if you'd like to be a part of that, make sure to check it out. I'll leave the link to that in the description box below. Before we get started though, if you'd like to level up your content creation with AI, then this channel is all about that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also remember to like and share this video so that more people can benefit from it. Without wasting time, let's get started the first thing that you're going to need is a voiceover so in my case i'll just go ahead and use 11 labs so i'm going to paste my script right here then i'll go ahead and choose a voice from the available voices so remember you can just go ahead and record your own voiceover you don't have to use 11 labs or any other ai tool so once you get a voice i'll just go ahead and use this one so next i'll go ahead and hit generate speech so this is just going to generate the voice for me, the voice over for me. And now I can just go ahead and hit this download button and the voice over will be downloaded to my computer. So the next thing that you need to do now is go over to Canva and you're going to start by creating a new design. In this case, I want to create a YouTube video. Once you've chosen the dimensions of your project, this is going to open up. So next we'll go over to the app section and now we are just going to go ahead and search for Magic Media. So once you search for that, we are going to choose the very first app in these results. And once you've chosen that, next we'll go to the graphics area. So once you've chosen the graphics, the next thing that you need to go ahead and choose is the style that you're going to use. So as you can see, there are a couple of styles right here that you can go ahead and choose from. So you can go ahead and choose any of the available styles depending on what style you're going for. So in my case, I'll just go ahead and choose the hand-drawn style. Next, we have the prompt box area. So this is where you're going to input the prompt for the graphic that you want to go ahead and generate. So to do this, you have to go ahead and listen to the audio file that you have. That way you'll know the kind of graphics that you need to bring your scenes to life. So now in this first case, I'm just generating this woman in ancient Egypt. So you can just keep generating until you have a graphic image that you actually like. So in my case, I think I just, this one might be nice, but yeah, I just found another image that is way much better. So I'm just going to use this second one. Next, I'll go ahead and generate an image that has some pyramids in it so that you can have the whole ancient Egypt feel. So once I have that image, now you can go ahead and edit the whole scene so that it's just like one whole wholesome scene. So I want to go ahead and remove the pyramid behind the woman. So I'll go to edit, then I'll go over and choose the magic grab feature. So once that's done, then I can go ahead and grab the woman alone, then just go ahead and do that. So once that's done, I can separate the woman from the pyramid, then I can delete the pyramid, then I can go ahead and have the woman alone. So I think I need a better image of the pyramid so that you can have like one wholesome scene, just like this one. Then again, you can just go ahead and put the scene together by having some clouds, the sun and such kind of things. So as you can see, the whole scene is just like one wholesome scene. So now we can go on to page two, go ahead and listen to your audio so that you can know the kind of images that you want for your next scene. So you're going to do this for all your scenes until you have all the images that you need to bring your story to life. Next, you're going to download all these images as PNG files. So go over to the share button, then download, then go ahead and choose the PNG file, then go ahead and download all the pages. Once you've downloaded these pages, the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and re-upload the images back to Canva. So I'll go ahead and choose all the images and I'm going to re-upload all of them back to Canva. Now I'll go ahead and delete these original scenes that I had created earlier on. So once I've deleted all of them, now I'll just go ahead and reapply the images that I've uploaded. So the first scene was this image. I'm going to send it to background. So I'm going to do this for the rest of the images until I have my six scenes just as I did. But remember now this time they are images, they're not just graphics. So once you've done that for all the images, next you're going to upload the audio that we got from 11 labs. So we are just going to take our audio and we are going to input it in our design. 
As you can see, it just fit into our design, but we need to go ahead and rearrange each of these scenes so that the scenes can align perfectly with the audio that we have just uploaded. In a time when women were expected to stay at home, Merit Patar defied all odds. Born in ancient Egypt over 4,000 years ago, she had a mind as sharp as a surgeon's blade and a heart filled with compassion. Now we'll go ahead and drag the very first scene until it aligns very well with the audio that we have. As you can see, that is the end of the first scene. So we are going to do this for the rest of the scenes until we have all the scenes well aligned with our audio. Once that is done, now we are going to go over to the next step. In this step, we'll be splitting our scenes. So we'll be doing this at the very last uh, two or three seconds of each scene. So like this is our very first scene, for instance. So we need to go back two seconds. Then we are just going to go ahead and right click. Then we can just go ahead and say split page. So again, right click, then split page, just like that. So you're going to see the essence of this later on so we are going to do this for all our scenes again just go ahead split all the scenes then next you're going to go back to apps and we are going to search for the speed painter so now you're going to choose this very first app right here so now as you can see you can go ahead and upload the image or choose the image that you want to use so we are going to click on choose image so as you can see our first scene has been selected so once you select a scene that is the image that is the uh, that they're going to use sorry so as you can see we have sketch duration we also have the color field duration so the first part that we split that is what we're going to use so as you can see it's 14 seconds and two uh, sorry it's 14.2 seconds so we need to go ahead and choose time frames that are almost uh to that amount so what you need is around 15 seconds you can always go ahead and readjust the whole you know the whole design later so in this case i'll use five and ten seconds you can go ahead and have the hand effect if you do not want you can go ahead and switch that off so once you've set everything up you can go ahead and hit the generate button and this is just going to start generating our video for us so once the video is ready then you can just go ahead and click on add to design and the video will be added to our design so once you do that, you can now go ahead and replace the image with the design. So I'll click on the video, then I'll go ahead and say replace the background. So the video is just going to go ahead and replace the original image. So again, as you can see, we have the first five seconds uh, for our sketch and the next 10 seconds are for the color fill. Now, you remember our video was 14.2 seconds so you need to go ahead and readjust this entire design so that instead of 15 seconds we have 14.2 seconds now once you've done that you can go ahead and repeat the process and you're going to do this for the rest of the for the rest of the first part of the scenes that we split now once you've done that now we are going to go ahead and input transitions in between the scenes so the transition that you're going to have in between the split scenes is the dissolve transition. So this is just going to allow for smooth transition in between the two scenes. So we are going to do this for all the split scenes. You're going to apply the dissolve, you know, the dissolve transition. And in between the different scenes, you can just go ahead and apply any other transition that you want. Once you've applied all the transitions in the video, the next thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and use some music for your design. That is if you want. So we are just going to go over to the audio library and we are going to search for music that can go well with this, the video that you're creating. So now I'll just go ahead and search for some music right here. And once I find something that I like, then I can just go ahead and apply it to my video. Now, when it comes to using music from Canva, be mindful of their terms when it comes to that. So I found this music that I like, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So you can go ahead and adjust the volume, you know, just so that it doesn't interfere with the narration or whatever it is uh, that is going on in the video. So once everything is ready, the next thing that you need to do now is just go ahead and click on the share button. Then you can go ahead and download the entire design as an MP4 video. So that's how easy it is to create these types of animations with Canva. And if you have any questions about this, make sure you put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.